Good evening. Thanks for joining us for the News at 5. I'm Karina Corral. And I'm Richard Gerhardt. We are continuing our team coverage of the Conception Boat Fire. The National Transportation Safety Board has interviewed five of the surviving members of the boat Conception. They say we should get preliminary reports in 10 days. We will have more on that in just a second. But first, we want to get to more about these victims. The Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office says the bodies of 33 of the 34 people who died have been recovered. They say the majority of the victims were found with the help of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's dive teams who were able to go inside the boat to recover 13 additional bodies. Divers are still looking for the last victim. Most of the passengers on board the Conception were from Northern California. Only five crew members made it out alive. The identities of those on board have not been released by authorities, but the families and employers of some of them have confirmed the sad news. Here are the names we know so far. Christy Finstad. She was a marine biologist and owner of the diving company that chartered the Conception for the trip. 25-year-old Ali Kurtz. Raymond Scott Chan and his daughter Kendra Chan. Fernissa Sassone, Michael Kitasol, Angela Kitasol, Evan Kitasol, and Nicole Kitasol. The family of five from Stockton who were celebrating a birthday. Neil Baltz and Patricia Batesinger. Charles McElvain. Mary Beth Guinea. Lisa Fiedler, Steve Salika, his wife Diana Adamic, and their 17-year-old daughter Tia Salika, and Mike Coles. He was the Conception's galley cook and deckhand. Well, the tragic event is impacting people all over California, especially in Santa Barbara. The memorial at the harbor is growing. Locals are showing their respects for the lives lost, even though they didn't know the victims personally. KSBY News reporter Alex Gonzalez is live at the harbor. Alex, what's it like out there today? Well, Richard, the word that I kept hearing throughout the day was devastation. Locals tell me that this tragedy has and will continue to impact their community. Pure devastation for those that are survived, for those that own the ship, for those that are just related to and know these people, you know, that have passed. It's just so excruciatingly painful to think about. Dee Dee Lane is a Santa Barbara local. Lane normally makes rosaries for troops in the military, but today she brought them and placed them around the candles at the memorial for the lives lost on the conception. I brought them down and put, placed one on each one of the candles for the, for the departed. The memorial continues to grow, a clear sign of a community in mourning. Barbara Winter was born and raised in Santa Barbara, but now lives in Orange County. She was up here for the extended weekend when she heard the news. When I heard it on the news, I was just, it was just very hard to take in. And we just happened to be coming up here, so I needed to come by and just kind of say my respects. And She says that as someone who grew up here and has friends within the diving community, this will forever change the harbor. Winner was accompanied by her friend Jane Zettler, who didn't know anyone personally on the boat, but says the tragedy hit close to home. And my brother and his wife are divers, and so it just is amazing to me what happened. And like she said, need to come and see. And I couldn't have come a couple days ago. Now still very raw emotions here and as you can see behind me, people are still coming to the memorial to show their respects and leave flowers. Reporting in Santa Barbara, Alex Gonzalez, KSPY News.